The fight fans, main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, me man's boxing form on Facebook? Hey, look, the thing is this, right? I'm reading some quotes from Tyson Fury that he gave uh, to the Daily Mail. And I got to give it to Tyson Fury, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to give him full respect for some of the quotes he got floating around out here pertaining to Deontay Wilder. So I'm just going to read the quotes real quick and I'll put it right here on the screen so y'all can follow with me. And I want to see if this is what Tyson Fury has to say today about Deontay Wilder. He says, and I quote, I am proud to have shared a very special time with Deontay in the ring, which has brought us both more fame and respect. Neither of us will ever forget being a part of what people are calling one of the greatest of all heavyweight fights, nor were the people who watched it. Come through that fire has been good for me as a person. And for Deontay, this was an educating journey for both of us. We survived and for that, I thank God and I, I do for everything in my life, my wife, my family, my mental health, my boxing, end quote. Man, so he's basically saying that his fight, his legendary trilogy with Deontay Wilder, he feels as though he learned a lot about himself. He felt as though he'd done something, if listening to his words, major for his legacy. Um, he knows that, that that trilogy or that war, it brought him, according to him, more fame and much, and much more respect. And it's like he's crediting Deontay Wilder because he couldn't have done that by himself. It took two to make that happen. It took the excitement, the excitement of Deontay Wilder and the level of excitement and, um, you know, caution that he brings to a fight. It, you know, you mix that with Tyson Fury being the character that he was and is. It made for something monumental. And it took both of them to make something like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it seems like Tyson Fury didn't quote word about Deontay Wilder speaking about retirement. You know, we heard some words that he said over there with on the Kevin Hart show. Now, since then, fight fans, I've heard Malik Scott come out and now shoot that down and say, hey, Deontay Wilder's here to stay. But according to Tyson Fury, he says he, he, he quote word about Deontay Wilder in retirement. And this is what he had to say. And I quote, I hear he's beginning to think about retiring. If so, we need to spend some time together. We didn't take it in the enormity of it all after our third fight. I still don't think that we realize everything it means. Maybe in years to come, we will be sitting with our family and friends and reminisce quietly about the fight of our lives, end quote. I got to tell you, man, I feel that, man. That's some stand-up stuff. That is honor amongst warriors right there. This is what I be trying to express to a lot of the boxing fans. Sometimes in our build-ups and sometimes when we speaking about guys who are facing our favorite fighters, you know, we throw caution out the window. A lot of name calling starts, you know, I mean, people sometimes go a little too far. I know in Tyson Fury's case, he was really brought through the mud. I mean, people were calling him a dope head and a, a crackhead and uh, people were just dragging him through the mud, man, accusing him of being a cheater. Um, the man is a family man. You know, he got children and everything and a wife. They got to get online and see crazy stuff like that. You know what I mean? And a lot of that stuff also came out of the Wilder camp. And so, you know, for Tyson Fury to be brought through all of that stuff, and still come to back and say, hey, man, look, I'm willing to bury the hatchet, man. Let's move forward, man. I ain't, I'm, you know, look, we, we should be sitting back as old men laughing about this stuff. Not taking it personal. Not letting it drive us away and drive us into a corner uh, where we're embarrassed or, or just hate. No. And in Deontay Wilder's case, who lost to Tyson Fury, he shouldn't look at this as some sort of monumental failure. He should look at this that the ingredients that he brought to the table made one of the most exciting trilogies known to the boxing fans. That could not be possible with anyone else. This is what makes Deontay Wilder so special. If you put Deontay Wilder in a trilogy with any of the top heavyweights, he is like the perfect ingredient for excitement. And it makes the event special. And that's what Deontay Wilder brings to the fight game. So for him to ponder retirement, if it's any has anything to do with embarrassment or any sort of way because of everything that was said and done, look at Tyson Fury. He's not taking it like that. He's taking it in stride. He want to bury the hatchet. He wants to sit down and talk to you. I truthfully, hopefully, I would like to see Deontay Wilder take him up on that offer. Because before they fought their fight, even though regardless of how contentious the fan base has got, 
before their fight fight fans these two were respect very respectful towards one another they've seen each other in gyms they knew about each other well before their fight and they really really respected one another things changed along you know their fight but it, it took a turn for the worse but before this happened this is the reason that Deontay Wilder welcomed him with such open arms because he had tremendous respect for Tyson Fury and his story and I hope they get back to that point I want to see Deontay Wilder move, come, come back to the fight game, move forward without a sense of embarrassment, without a sense of guilt whatsoever, because you gave the boxing fans what they wanted to see, and you gave them the show that we all asked to see. And as fans, that's all we can ask, man. And of course, to go in there and give your best. And I felt he's done all, he did all three of those. Even trying to seek out a new trainer to try to find some answers. I appreciate the effort. And Deontay Wilder has no reason to hold his head down whatsoever in the fight game because he gave us some monumental nights. And I'm hoping to see more. So stand up. This is stand up talk from Tyson Fury. I really respect the man. You know what I'm saying? He's earned my respect. I've always respected him. I just I gave him a hard time for the Tyson. I mean, for the um, Wilder fight, I will admit. But I will much say I, I have tremendous respect for the man. I never have accused him of being a cheater. I never thought he was never a cheater. I just think he's a damn good fighter. But I have tremendous respect for this man. I like his his mind frame and his mindset in this situation. And he's looking at the bigger picture. A lot of fans get caught up in the hoopla and 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 you're you know we're not them. They they got to see the bigger picture. And at the end of the day, they provided for their family. They earned a level of respect from boxing fans. They earned a level of fame from their wonderful trilogy. And fans are still hanging on the edge of their seat waiting for both of these men to get back into the ring. I repeat, both men to get back into the ring. And so at, that, at the end of the day, I say job well done to both. And I hope that maybe one day we see a picture of uh, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder sitting down over a beer, chilling, laughing about everything that they've been through all day. This is what the fight game is made out of. Honor amongst warriors. I catch up with y'all real soon on the live stream, fight fans. In the next video, thumbs up on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, share, 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 rock them bells, man. This is some real spill right here. This is some grown man shit. You know what I mean? Y'all want to be old so Anybody find something wrong with Tyson Fury saying, ain't nothing short of the